Hey, hi there Capricorn. Welcome to your weekly Psychic Tarot and Oracle card reading. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, but only take those portions that are resonating with you. This is a general reading. Remember to check out your moon and Venus and rising, otherwise known as ascendant sign, for a more complete picture. My readings do meld together. There is a free birth chart calculator link on the very bottom of the description box below, and it can help you out with these kind of readings. Capricorn, I'd like to thank you so much for supporting my channel. I'm truly grateful. Today you're going to get five cards from the Rider Waite deck, one card from the Sacred Destiny Oracle deck, and one Angel Answers card. So remember, ask a question, because at the end, you're going to get a definite answer. And now for your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Wow, Capricorn. The Ace of Pentacles. Earth energy. This is the root of Earth energy. Divine influence. This is a gift from life. It's like having a mini sun in your reading. The Ace of Pentacles, Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a gift from the universe. It's new money, new success, new opportunity. It's prosperity and a healthy beginning. The beginning of gain and stability. It's pleasure and beauty, a seed to be nurtured. This can be the beginning of a new project, a chance to improve your health, a gift you can use to invest in future gain. This could be a new job opportunity or a chance for promotion. It's a good time to start improving your home or your health. It's beginning to build the foundation for the future. It could even be a contract. It's, be, it's feeling motivated and ready for a challenge. It's breaking new ground. It could be receiving a gift or money or offering. It's creating value. This is a lucky card. There's recognition and the realization you're on the correct path. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. This can bring intention. It can be an uh, obstacle to your forward progress. This card can be. Number five of wands, fire energy. This is Saturn in Leo. This is a card of competition, unrest, uncertainty, it's shifting vibrations. Fives are pivotal turning points, and this can be a competition in career or social areas. It's new factors that come in, and they demand that you change and adapt and grow. You might have to put more effort in to keep what you've already gained. This can be mediation, challenge and struggle, petty obstacles, annoyances, short-term difficulties. It could be in communication. And once you overcome these things, then it, things change for the better. But for the short term, there's conflicts, fighting, competing forces without a clear winner as yet. This can also be a building site, carpenters, scaffolders, a workshop, creative chaos. It's okay to jump in. This process may be messy, but it's worth it. This is fighting for what matters to you. It can be a competition of some sort. A, this is a card of ordeals and tests. It's standing out above the crowd that will get you noticed. There are problems to solve and conflicts and petty hassles and arguments. It can also be clashing of personalities, differences of opinion. It's these differences that should be examined it is from them that new ideas and interesting compromises emerge. The Ace of Pentacles with the Five of Wands is a worry about rivals. It's a new tangible beginning that you feel unrest about. This can represent a job interview. It's a gift that you are uncertain about. And it's an opportunity coming with competition. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of, Capricorn. 
This can be your attitude. The Seven of Pentacles. Well, here's uh, another Saturn card. This time in Taurus. This is waiting. It's reevaluating. Stepping back and looking at what you've accomplished. It's assessing and having patience. And it's a pause during the development. It's a break. You're aiming for that long-term growth and not the instant rewards. And this is a time-out card. Your investments are going to pay off in the future. But you're still waiting for success. You've been working on something for a while. And now you're looking back and rethinking about whether you're on the right path. Path. Some readjustment may be needed. You're not failing, you are learning, but you're questioning your standpoint and looking from a different perspective. And as long as you wait for the fruit on the vine to get ripe, then it will be sweet. You're wondering if it, this will work and what you get out of it, and you're planning your next move and valuing your investments. This is reaching a milestone and taking stock and taking care of your possessions. This can be routines at work. It can be an outside job or wanting more job satisfaction. This can be anxiety about a loan. The Ace of Pentacles with the Seven of Pentacles represents a new vision and a long-term investment. Your fourth card is the card of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. The Six of Wands, Capricorn, this is really good. It's that victory over the competition. This is Jupiter in Leo, card of expansion. This is receiving praise and recognition. This can be a promotion. It's victory and success after strife. It's having worked hard and now deserving those accolades. This is good news and recognition. It's being a role model and being full of self-confidence. It's okay to take pride in your ability to lead and inspire others. You've worked hard and you deserve this recognition. Just receive the acclaim and admiration graciously. Be proud, but be aware of conceit. Remember to give gratitude to all those that supported you to get there, because others do look to you for guidance. So responsible and ethical action is required. This is working on projects that spring recognition. It's coming out on top. It's being very fortunate and popular. It's being a winner. The Ace of Pentacles with the Six of Wands is a promotion. It's recognition received. This is a very important reward. All Aces are exalted when they're in your reading. And now for your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue, this is what's unseen. It's unseen, it's because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this. Seven of Swords, Capricorn, Air Energy. This is a moon in Aquarius. No, this is someone that's using evasive tactics. They're maybe trying to get away with something. They're having to use strategy and deception. They might have to hide something. Maybe they're avoiding something and being secret. This is avoiding a confrontation. It's possibly to avoid it to reach the right decision about someone or something. It's knowing when to walk away and having the courage of your dreams and the strength to face unsolved puzzles of your life. Someone may be tiptoeing around or running from the truth. Direct or aggressive tactics will not be useful in this situation, but diplomacy and charm will be. These are mental tests. It's escaping a problem rather than facing it. It's finding an alternative solution. It can be a change of direction or sidestepping an issue. It's breaking free and doing things your own way and taking the right steps with care. The Ace of Pentacles with the Seven of Swords can represent a tangible opportunity in facing mental tests and handling things with care. This can represent a theft or a con man. 
The Five of Wands with the Seven of Pentacles is being the slower counterpart at work. It's being diligent, industrious, and driven at work. It's being too busy to respond or reply to an email or a phone call or a text message. The Five of Wands with the Six of Wands is fighting for recognition. It's competition and success. The Five of Wands with the Seven of Swords is outsmarting others. It's confusing the competition on purpose. This is a situation where people are equally armed, and that requires you to be cunning and underhanded. The Seven of Pentacles with the Six of Wands is being rewarded for your hard work and diligence and patience. It's your hard work and perseverance pays off. The Seven of Pentacles with the Seven of Swords is others that try to take credit for your current success. It's tests with having to have patience. And that's two sevens in your reading, which represents new knowledge, news. It can also be false friends. The Six of Wands with the Seven of Swords is a clever strategy that delivers victory, and it's triumph over deceptions. Here is your Sacred Destiny Oracle card from the deck by Denise Lynn. And it's potential, Capricorn. Potential. That is a volcano at rest. Volcanoes erupt in places where the Earth's plates meets where there are cracks through which lava emerges, either explosively or by flowing more slowly down to cinder cone. Even when a volcano has rest, there is always a possibility of a huge eruption. There is the potential of great power. There are very few things in this planet more commanding than an erupting volcano. The archetypal personality of a volcano is one of a wild, unpredictable, and formidable energy. The sacred landscape wants you to know that this card appears when you're ready to activate your potential and step into your strength. This is a time to activate those gifts that you've had on the back burner in your life. You have incredible, untapped potential, and this is the time to allow it to flow. An inner wellspring of power is emerging. You have a profound spiritual power that is deep within you. Do not doubt your great authority and capabilities. A dormant volcano might indicate that you have uncomfortable emotions that you're repressing or keeping inside, thus creating emotional stress and inner pressure. It can also mean that you're on the verge of a great expansion of energy and life force. Here's your answer, Capricorn. From the Angel Answers Oracle Deck by Radley Valentine. And the answer is... Yes, Capricorn. The answer is yes. Bravo. The answer to your question is yes. If you want a more detailed reply to your inquiry, you can ask additional questions and I'll pull you another card down below in the comments. I'll be happy to do it. You don't have to voice it out loud. Just put a, something down there and you'll get your answer. Remember, I am listening and so is the universe. Thanks for watching.